So I'm Rick Wilmer, the CEO of Mojo Networks, and we provide cloud-managed Wi-Fi. Uh, modern technology, fully virtualized, utilizing the power of the cloud and a big data platform to store massive amounts of network data and then use that uh, by applying machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to predict what the network will do in the future and fix problems before users of the Wi-Fi network ever notice that they have a problem. So, in terms of Wi-Fi monetization, the title of my talk this morning was The Simplest, Oldest Way to Monetize Wi-Fi. And what I meant by that was, you pay for Wi-Fi. And when I talk about paying for Wi-Fi, I'm not talking about the Western world or the developed countries. I'm talking about the four billion people in the world that don't have any internet connectivity of any kind. It turns out that Wi-Fi, if done right, the way we do it, can be the most affordable and cost-effective way to get internet connectivity to the unserved of the world in a fashion that they pay for it, but it's affordable for them. For people that don't make a lot of money, that need internet connectivity, that need the benefits that it brings. So we have a very unique business model, and we've because we've virtualized everything and there's almost no hardware involved, it makes the whole thing extremely cost effective and practical to now potentially bring internet to people that have never had it before that couldn't imagine having it because they didn't think they could ever afford it. Grow, 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 and grow. Those are the top five priorities. We, uh, we've got a great technology, a great team. Um, we rebranded the company to Mojo about a year and a half ago and we're now fully through that. I think people are starting to understand who we are and what we're about. And now it's really about execution and growth. Oh, open standards are key uh, to the future of affordability, of faster innovation. Uh, the concept is called disaggregation. And the idea is you develop your hardware independently from your software. And you allow people to buy hardware from any place they prefer and then download any software that is compliant with that hardware and form a complete solution. When you separate the hardware from the software and get away from an integrated proprietary solution, you increase the pace of innovation dramatically because software typically built that way can involve a community of developers rather than one single vendor. The other big benefit is when hardware becomes standardized, it gets driven down to commodity pricing, which benefits everybody. Everybody beyond the vendor that sells the hardware is getting a much better price. It starts to address the affordability issue we talked about earlier. So it will have a profound effect on Wi-Fi, on networking, on data center, storage compute, you name it. This is a big, big change that's affecting all of, all of this stuff I just mentioned. Oh, it's two, two, two big reasons. One, when you have a great story like Mojo, being able to get it out to a large group of people in one venue and then have it amplified like this interview is going to amplify it is phenomenal, phenomenal for us. Uh, we want people to hear our story. We can you know, change the world with, with the way we're approaching Wi-Fi technology. So that's one big benefit. The other big benefit is just the people you meet here. Uh, the number of connections I've made, the number of in interesting people and potential business partners, both uh, as customers and below us in the supply chain or adjacent to us in the supply chain, has been remarkable. So those, those are the two big, big benefits to the Wireless Global Congress.